The scariest part for most people on water cooling a computer is what happens if they get a leak? Obviously fluids are conductive as you can see with this test in water right here, but what happens if we take a lower conductivity fluid and uh, simulate a leak with our system? Now before you go getting your underwear in a knot, this is an old 8400 system, but it is fully operational as you can see. So, uh oh. Well, it just shut off. So the question is, did the overcurrent protection in the power supply save it? This might be a shorter short than I thought. Let's see what happens here. We are boot attempting. We got a green and we got an image. Obviously, our power supply is really good at detecting a short and uh, stopping that. But what happens if you just... All right. Can we dry it off and survive? Green light, image. There you go. So I think the moral of the story is it's less about how conductive your fluid is and more about how good the conformal coating is on your motherboard and how good your power supply is at detecting an overcurrent protection. So, water cool with confidence, but be careful. <laughs>